Hi everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing how to find function values by looking at tables and graphs. And so in this first mini lesson, we're going to start with a scenario where we have two different brothers and their savings accounts. And we're going to be looking at the amount of money that they have saved. Problem 66 says find n of 4. Now when you see n of 4, what that means is when the input is 4, your job is to find the output. Now the problem that I'm going to look at here is the graph because the graph represents Namir's savings plan, which is n. If this said find e of 4, then I would look at the table because that would be Elliot, Elian's savings plan. So when the input is 4, which is right down here, the corresponding output value on this graph would be the number 30. So my answer here would just be 30. Next, which is greater, n of 5 or e of 5? So in this problem, I'm going to start by finding n of 5, which means I'm going to do this in a very similar way to how I did the previous problem. I'm going to look at the graph. I'm going to look at which corresponding output value goes with the number 5, which is 35. And then I'm going to find e of 5, and I'm going to see which one is actually bigger. Now, in order to find e of 5, I'm going to find the 5 as the input in Elian's table. And I'm just going to find the corresponding output value, which in this case would be 50. Because of that, I can tell that e of 5 is bigger, so I'm just going to go ahead and circle that e of 5 is bigger. Next it says, for which value of x is n of x equal to e of x? Now what that means is I want to find some x value where the outputs are the same in both of these functions. So the best way and the only way to really do this is to go one by one. When the input of n is 1, the output is 15. When e is 1, the output is 10. So those don't match. When the input of n is 2, the output is 20. When the input of e is 2, the output is 20. Those do match. So I would just say that the x value for which the outputs are the same is the number 2. Next, we're going to practice doing this sort of without a story, just by looking at a graph. So if I said, Here, here's a graph, find f of negative 2. F of negative 2 means the input should be negative 2. So I'm going to look on the graph to where the input is negative 2. I'm going to match that up to the corresponding output, which would be right here. So my answer would be 4. Next it says, if f of x is equal to 1, find the x. Now this time, because the 1 is on the outside of the parentheses, this is going to be an output instead of an input because it's on the outside. So what I'm going to do is just find where the outputs are 1, which would be when I reach this level 1. And I'm going to look to the left and I'm going to look to the right to find all the places where my graph has an output of 1. That's going to happen twice, here and here, which is where x is negative 5 and also where x is negative 3. So there's going to be two answers for that one. The next problem says find f of 7. Now this is going to be an input again because it's inside of the parentheses. So inputs are on the inside, outputs are on the outside. So what I'm going to do is just find where my graph has an input of 7. Input of 7 would be right here and find the corresponding output, which would be right here. Now that corresponding output would be the number 8. And so my final answer here would just be the number 8. Next, it says if f of x is equal to 9, what is the x? So f of x being equal to 9 means that that is the output because it's on the outside. 
Now in this case, my output being nine would be right up here. I'm gonna look to the left and look to the right to see where the output is nine. The output is nine right here, which is where X is negative two. So I would just list one answer this time. And last but not least, I'm gonna find F of zero. Now F of zero is again an input because it's on the inside of the parentheses. So I'm gonna go on my graph to where X is zero and I'm gonna find the corresponding output which would be right here at the positive eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down eight as my answer. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you soon for some practice.